hey friends, welcome to the Plaid X2 channel. My name is John, and on this channel we typically talk about movies, music, and books, and indirectly we will do that today. But this is a really different video for this channel. Uh, I recently did a bit of an experiment. I took about a month and a half off of YouTube. I've been doing it for about a year and a half, and uh, for a mental and physical health break, I decided to walk away from the channel. I still watch my favorite YouTubers, um, but I did not have it in me to do any more content. And what I did over that month and a half, a uh, little over a month and a half, is wrestled with, do I even want to keep this channel going? Um, I have loved making friends here and I love movies, um, but was just a little bit maxed out. And so took some time to consider, do I want to keep doing this or not doing this? And I decided, yeah, I want to keep doing this. And so I kind of came back and I went from zero to a hundred. I went from a month and a half, a little more than that, of doing no content to a little experiment of uploading 30 videos, filming, editing, uploading 30 different videos in 30 days. And so uh, that's my little experiment. And what I wanna do was I wanna see, well, what would that do to the channel if I uploaded new content every single day for 30 days? And uh, so anyway, friends, this is a video on what happened when I did that. So I wanna share with you three things. I'm gonna tell you what I did, I'm gonna tell you what happened, and then what I'm gonna be doing going forward. So if you are a content creator, you have your own YouTube channel, or you're looking to start a YouTube channel, uh, hopefully this will be interesting to you, uh, helpful to you. If you already have your own channel, and you're wondering how do I grow my channel, uh, what should I do, what could I do uh, to see my channel grow, um, to see yourself grow as a content creator, um, maybe this video will be helpful to you. So anyway, friends, uh, this is what happened during my little experiment of 30 videos in 30 days. All right, so first, what did I do? What I did. So what I did was I, I did 30 videos in 30 days. And so I, sometimes I, on good weeks, I, I was able to bank up a number of films and then have them all like scheduled and ready to go. And then other times I just didn't have it between home and work and trying to do this YouTube channel. I didn't have the time to do it. And so there were some days where I was filming, editing, uploading on the day of instead of having them banked. And so that was a little more difficult. But the goal was to put up a brand new video at 2 p.m every single day that would be the same time and so i watched a bunch of other videos from other content creators they're talking about analytics and how to um, see your channel grow so one of the things they encouraged was to do the same time every day if you're going to do it content every day so i decided to do 2 p.m every day i didn't hit it every single day i hit it probably 90 percent of the time uh, there was maybe 10 percent of the time where i just i was really backed up between work home and trying to do this video stuff and it came up maybe up until like even 5 p.m. So it was almost 2 p.m. It was in a window, um, but most days I had it at 2 p.m. Now, as for what kind of videos I did, uh, it wasn't just one specific type. I did various types of videos over the 30 days, various different kinds. I did hauls, I did unboxings, I did lists, I did conversations, and so a bunch of different kinds of video. I did stories, and um, so it was very diverse, the kind of content that was getting put up, but it all revolved around movies, music, and books. And so for 30 days, a new video every single day at typically right around 2 p.m. And so that's what I did every single day for 30 days. And then the other thing that I did was I, I promoted every single one of my videos on Instagram. I didn't promote on Facebook. I didn't promote on Twitter. I just have my one uh, Instagram account. You can find that in the uh, link below. Um, I just promoted there. And the other, it was a bit time consuming as well, constantly creating the thumbnail pictures, trying to make those creative, um, uh, even a little different, but also keeping the same similar style that the channel has. And then also the picture for Instagram, doing the same kind of thing. So that was all a little bit time cons consuming, but that's what I did over the 30 days. And this is what happened. So this is what happened. I was exhausted. I was so tired. I was talking to one of my uh, fellow YouTube uh, creator friends and I told them, I confessed to them uh, on Instagram. In our chat conversation, I confessed the last like three or four videos in that 30 day period, I was making stuff up. I had nothing left in the tank, nothing at all. It was exhausting. Uh, that pace was not one that I can keep up. I couldn't keep doing a video every day, but balancing home 
and work and this, couldn't do it. If it was my job, I would love it. It'd be so much fun to spend eight, nine hours a day creating content, but I don't have that kind of time. So it was a little bit exhausting, uh, but on the flip side of that, creatively, it was so fun. And to rack your brain constantly of like, what is some new content, some new ideas, uh, that was actually really fun. And I ended up coming up with some ideas that are actually going to be mainstays on the channel. Things that I'm going to continue with, that I'm gonna even expand. And so uh, that's kind of what happened. I was tired, but also creatively, it was really, really helpful for me. And I think it will be helpful for the future of the channel as well. So I was really excited about the, all the new ideas for the channel, but my guess is many of you are watching wondering, okay, 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 what are the uh, 30 videos, the 30 days, what do they do for the analytics of your channel? And so let's dive into the analytics and what did they do for my channel? Uh, so the first one, let's look at views. So I'm gonna have the charts pop up right here. And uh, what you'll see in the views is it skyrocketed. Uh, so you'll see a bit of a gap before the jump, before the big spikes, uh, a bit of a gap. And so there was um, about 45 days where no content was being put on the channel. But before that, you'll see a bunch of days where it was fairly regular content being put up, but still not huge spikes. But when I started going every single day, it just skyrocketed my views and uh, more than I had seen uh, in the history of the channel. Uh, I had one video, I've got some stats up here looking at as well. Uh, one of the videos I had became my most viewed video during that 30 day stretch. And it received in that 30 day period, uh, 2,028 views on one of my videos, which has never happened before. And uh, so that was really exciting to see. And um, I think spurred on some more um, viewers to the channel. And so anyway, views, that's what happened. Next stat I'll throw up for you is watch time hours. You can also see in the graph that that skyrocketed as well. And uh, some of the videos were uh, a little longer, but I'd already done in the past videos that were longer than some of the ones I had put up. So it wasn't just that the videos were longer, all of them were just being watched more than they had been watched in the past. Uh, the next graph I'll throw up for you is impressions. Uh, this is how often your thumbnails are shown on YouTube. And again, you'll see that it just, it skyrocketed uh, bigger than it has ever been before uh, in putting content up, new content every single day. And then the last one, the one that maybe most of you are wondering uh, the most of, well, what did it do to your subscribers? Did you get more subscribers in putting up 30 videos and 30 days? And the answer is yes. Um, so here's another graph. Now, the true number uh, on this is 120. And from when I started that first video to the 30th video, uh, I, I did add to the channel 120 subscribers. So you're talking four subscribers a day were added to the channel. And so that's what it did with my views, with impressions, watch time hours, and my subscribers. That's what the analytics look like. So uh, did uh, my 30 videos and 30 days, are they the sole reason why the watch time went up, why the views went up, and why the subscribers uh, went up? Uh, in my opinion, the answer to that is no. In fact, over those 30 days, uh, there were three or four content creators uh, between YouTube, Instagram and Twitter who had mentioned my channel and their content very graciously and uh, were very generous and kind with what they said about the channel. And if I looked back into my analytics, I actually saw jumps and peaks on the days in which they mentioned my channel. And so while I do think putting in all of that extra work certainly helped the channel and certainly caused uh, significant amounts of growth, I also do wanna make sure that I know that because of other people who have bigger channels, bigger followings, um, bigger influence, because they mentioned uh, my channel in very kind and generous ways, I do want to acknowledge that I also believe that they helped me um, grow in these 30 days. And so I want to uh, acknowledge that and also say a massive thank you to all of you who did that because you didn't have to do that. And so thank you so much for helping this channel uh, grow to where it is now. Uh, the other thing that I think really helped in that 30 day period, and that this wasn't an intentional thing, I came back when I was ready mentally and physically feeling ready to come back, um, was that I, it was during the month of the Criterion sale happened. And I love Criterion films. And so four or five of the 30, I think maybe five of the 30 uh, videos were about Criterion. And the one that hit 2,028 views was also a Criterion uh, video. Now, I will say this, I've done Criterion videos before, I have a bunch of them, and some of them during the sale as well, and they never hit these kinds of numbers. So, 
I do think putting up content every single day was helpful in that, just people, the views coming back every day. Um, but I also, so I do want to recognize that it being that month, the Barnes and Noble sale was, I think, also a boost to the channel. So between people being very kind and gracious and it being a Criterion sale, I think both of those things happened um, to help boost my numbers for the channel. So friends, that's what happened during the 30 days pumping out 30 brand new videos. So lastly, what am I gonna do with uh, what I learned? Um, obviously, the growth to the channel was really encouraging. I loved seeing uh, more views happen. I loved seeing more subscribers and the community building and growing. I loved all the conversation. In fact, it became tough to keep up with some of the conversations and the videos, but I do try my absolute best to as quick as possible respond to every single comment in every single video. And so 30 new videos in 30 days was tough to keep up with, but I did my best uh, to continue that because I love the community and conversation. And I ended up walking away with so many film uh, suggestions from all the people interacting in the videos. So that was a lot of fun. So what will I do with all of the growth and what I've learned? Uh, I'm gonna move forward doing about one to two videos a week. I'm gonna try to do those and do high quality videos, um, but I just couldn't, uh, with it not being my job, I don't think I can keep up with seven videos every single week. So I'm gonna do one to two, and I'm also gonna focus on videos that bring me joy. Um, and rather than spending a lot of time in videos that uh, are more work for me. So for example, some of the videos that um, were born out of that 30 days, like the five, which is a video series where I have conversations with other people in the film collecting community. Um, that's gonna continue. My first conversation was with Stephanie at Movie Chatter and I loved it and it was so much fun getting to meet her finally and uh, have a conversation about movies. The next one was with Mr. Nichols. That was so much fun. He's such a great guy and I'm thankful for both of them doing it and I've already got a bunch of other people lined up for that series. So that one will continue. I started a thing called Film Stories where I talk about movies that matter to me. I don't just want to, um, always do videos of, I just picked up this one and this one. I think those are fun, uh, but I also want to go a little bit deeper into film. And so anyway, I'm going to tell some more stories in the future. And those aren't my uh, most viewed videos, but they bring me more joy than some of the other videos that do have more views. And I'm more concerned with enjoying this uh, than I am with just getting views. Uh, the other thing I'll continue to do is lists. I have a lot of fun with lists and uh, partially because I, I'm a nerd and I like making lists. Um, but also I love seeing from other people what their lists are too. So I nerd out over other people's lists as well. Uh, birthday videos are some of my least watched videos. So you'd think to yourself, why would you do those videos? Because I enjoy them. Um, I think my least viewed video of all time on this channel is my happy birthday Chris Farley video. And, but that video is one of the most meaningful videos to me. And so I don't regret doing it and I love doing it. I loved him as a comedian, his humanity, uh, his humor, all of that. And so to honor him by mentioning the uh, Farley things I have in my collection means a lot to me. So I'm gonna continue to do those because I enjoy them, they bring me joy. And then lastly, yes, I will keep doing hauls uh, because they're a lot of fun. I do enjoy them. I love showing what I found because I love thrifting, pawn shops, Salvation Army, Goodwills, yard sales. I love finding really cool treasures and then sharing them with the community because I love watching other people share what they have found uh, with us in the community as well. So I will continue to do those. And then lastly, I do wanna say that uh, my channel purpose, I kind of discovered during these 30 days, the purpose moving forward is going to be connect with people. Uh, yes, it will be revolving around movies, music, and books, um, but I don't want it to just be for me, just to simply, here's another movie, I like this movie. I wanna connect with people. That's why the five is gonna be really important for me moving forward, and I'm really enjoying that one. That's why telling film stories is really important, because we connect with story. I love listening to other people's stories, and hopefully my stories will be uh, entertaining enough, or maybe might connect with you. So. Um, they will continue to be that for the purposes of connecting with other people. Um, I love doing that and that's what means the most to me. And I've made some really cool friends here on YouTube. So friends, that's what I did, that's what I learned, and that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. Uh, I wanna encourage you, um, give it a shot. Uh, take 30 days, uh, maybe build up some content. That might be a recommendation for you. Build up some content and have it all scheduled and then maybe uh, do it and see what it does for your channel. Um, it was really helpful for mine and I learned a lot. I think I grew creatively and I think it helped me uh, kind of refine what my purpose will be in moving forward. Uh, so anyway, 
I hope this was helpful to you if you are a content creator here on YouTube or you want to be a content creator. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight of what uh, it might be like to put up content every single day. Um, it is beneficial for your channel. If you're able to keep up with that pace, have at it. If you're not, um, find a pace that is sustainable for you and enjoy it and have fun doing it. Don't let it be work unless it is your work and job. Then yeah, get to work, do your job but this is not my job. This is for fun and connecting with friends. So anyway, friends, thank you for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. For all of you who have subscribed to this channel, for all of you who have liked, all of you who have commented, thank you so much. This has been a really cool journey. Um, after that month and a half break, I'm excited to be back. I am energized, ready to do more video content, ready to connect with you, friends. And uh, so thank you so much. I uh, really do appreciate it. We're gonna be doing a giveaway soon because we have passed the 500 mark, subscriber mark, which blows my mind. And uh, so thanks. That'll be coming up very soon. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you're doing well, friends. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. But more than that, thank you so much for checking out these videos. Thanks for being uh, a friend. Thank you for those in this community for welcoming me into this community. It means a lot. Glad to be back after a long break and excited to make some more content and to watch your content as well. So anyway, hope you're doing well. Please do take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Oh,